Hello, family, and welcome to another episode of Role Model Experts Cafe. I'm your host, Dr. Elder Parent Whisper, and today with me, I have an amazing lady, Miss Tanya Miller. Did, did I say that correctly, Tanya? Yes, you did. Very cool. Um, now, I have had the opportunity to have Tanya in our circles and networks, and I think that her topic is very important. It should be on your radar. So I've asked her to be here, take time out of her busy schedule to kind of enlighten us a little bit more about what she does, why this is important, and what are some of the consequences and some of the benefits of addressing it. So Tanya, thank you for being here today uh, and taking the time. Thank you, our audience members, for tuning in. Uh, please tell us a little bit more about yourself and what you do and how you got to do what you do. Sure, that's a great question. Thank you. Um, I was in healthcare, so I was a paramedic for 13 years in, in Alberta, Canada. And I loved the medicine. I absolutely loved when you're able to help somebody in, the, in a positive direction that you can see the stress just lower off their shoulders. And they say, thank you. And I know you can relate to that, Dr. L. Um, but I loved that, that industry. But I got into a position where I was blessed to have two boys along the way. They're now 10 and seven and a half. Uh, but when they were babies and trying to work on the ambulance as well. And my husband was a paramedic as well. So we were working a lot of different shift works, dealing with everything that you deal with mentally and physically uh, for many, many years. Um, I was a paramedic for 13, he was a paramedic for 15. So we definitely did our time, but what we found is we weren't able to be the parents that we wanted to be. Now there's a lot of people out there that are able to be and God bless you, but I wasn't. I was, I was missing soccer games, I was missing Taekwondo and all of those things. And I didn't even know I was looking for something else. I was just exhausted. Mm. And I had a lady come and we actually asked for, we asked for help to put cash in our hand. We had investments all over the place, things like that. We looked good on paper, uh, but we didn't have any cash. And so I phoned a, a lady and she sat down and she showed us this opportunity in the financial industry. And at the time, I thought that sounded extremely boring and there's no way I would ever, ever do it. And here's what I can tell you guys is four months after that, I decided that, you know, the way she helped our family, it gave me that significant feeling of helping people in that same direction as I could in medicine. And I called her and said, you need to hire me. And then, of course, we went into why do you need to hire me? So, yeah, that's uh, that's where I came from. And now I'm in the financial industry for the last four and a half years. And I absolutely love it. I can put my kids to bed and I can still help people in a big 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 way right now tanya one of the things that i know about what you focus on uh it always strikes me people say oh money is not everything right but then the way you end up sacrificing everything chasing money all day long and then at the end of it when you're going to bed worrying because you're no better off you're no closer to your dreams than the day before or at best, you just have this hope that it's all gonna work out. Uh, and what you're about to talk about is something that is very concrete, very proven. And so I wanted you to kind of uh, share with us a little bit about uh, what are some of the challenges that you see parents when it comes to financial world that they come to you with? Uh, what are their concerns? Yeah, actually that's great because again, I am a parent. So yeah. we go through the same things. Okay, I wanna ask you parents out there, um, do you, how do you do it all? That's what I hear all the time, right? Mm -hmm. We need to have the life insurance to properly protect our family. We need to be able to save, but we also need to pay the mortgage and all the bills. And most of you probably have your kids in some sort of extracurricular activities um, and then school and all of that. And that's what I hear most of the time is how do we do it all? And the thing is, is you're, you're trying to do it all at the same time. And that's the mistake. Okay. That's where you need an advisor that actually understands where you're at and teaches you how to do it in increments and the proper way to be able to do all of these things so that your family is properly protected. You do actually have some investments. I know there's a lot of companies out there that they won't even look at you if they don't, if you don't have $200,000 worth of, you know, investments, they'll tell you to go away. And our company is actually looking after the middle family, the middle market, which is all of you and me. Right. We're able to actually open a $50 savings account or uh, not savings account, but TFSA or whatever is good in your, your scenario so that you can do it all. Whereas if you go to the other companies, uh, sometimes it makes it really, really difficult. 
Right. I think the challenges are different for different group of people in the financial uh, situations. So you have the seasoned investors and they have their own set of challenges. And most people are chasing after the deals and the things that are oftentimes brought to the seasoned investors. But that has its own set of challenges. But then you also have the broader audience members that want to be able to play, but uh, they need to understand risk. They need to understand, you know, how much they can to what capacity they should play in the financial market. So, uh, so yeah. And then the other part, like you mentioned, is the fact that some people have their monies tied up, but then they they their cash flow poor, meaning that they don't have money to actually spend on their lives. So, yeah. where do you go to get this information? Because obviously, it's not taught in schools, and many times in families, it's even not discussed, right? Well, and you don't know what you don't know. Like right. that's that's an example of us. We, you know, we we thought we were, you know, paramedics. We we thought we were highly educated, which I, I got to be honest, I I thought we were, <laughs> um, but in the finance realm, we weren't because nobody ever taught us uh, in the school, like you had mentioned, Doctor L. Right. Um, nobody taught us about tax breaks as well. Like for those of you that have too much money, that is a problem. I know you've got you've got your own set of problems. Right. You've got to find tax breaks and all of these other things. Um, but yeah, we didn't know what we didn't know. And we went to an advisor and, and he put my money into a high interest account because at the time I was 19 years old and just said, I don't want to lose any of my money. Right. right. 21 years later, I thought he had my back and he didn't. 21 years later, I'm still sitting in. What that is, guys, is you're making 2%, if that. So it might, have been, might, have been, might as well have been in a bank. 13% um, rate of return at the time was low. So I lost hundreds and thousands of dollars that my family could have had right now. So picking the right, in, the right financial advisor is very, very important. And if you don't think money is everything, like Dr. L said, money isn't everything, but it is everything. Because if you don't have the money, then you're not going to have the lifestyle that you want with your family. And if you have the stress, that in itself also affects your health, which so many of us agree comes before finances, that your health is most important. However, you, you, you end up oftentimes sacrificing your health. Well, I'm money. glad that you brought that up because that's my mission statement right now is, is because I was a paramedic, I want, I want those paramedics to be able to put up their feet and relax a little bit because they're way too stressed out right now. Right. They're way too overworked. And right. honestly, you guys with inflation the way it is and like there's so much financial chaos right now it is such a good time to be able to get the right advisor to look after you and your family um because yeah that stress will will kill you or put you into an ambulance and that's what i'm hoping it won't do so tanya one of the things that you mentioned early on is you're based in canada but many of the stuff that you're talking about applies to financial markets because there is a global network basically and it's important to understand these tools and how they operate together how they affect one another things like that um so uh, i understand that people have financial challenges they seek somebody like yourself to get insight but then also in order for you to change and get the desired outcome, you need to make certain changes in your lifestyle. You need to make certain changes in the way you understand finances. So what are some of those challenges that you realize that the clients have to overcome in order to achieve the goals they want? Okay, well, that was kind of a couple of questions, which I love. So first of all, yes, uh, we do go into the States as well. And so if there's if there's anybody out there that's like, well, I'm in the state, she's in Canada, don't worry about it. We can have a conversation and I will definitely lead you into the right area to get the right help that you're looking for. Um, the second thing is, is as you mentioned, so like inflation goes up, there's only two ways to beat that in my mind, in my opinion only, is two ways to beat that. Number one, you need to increase your income. And a lot of you probably just phased out and went, how do I do that? <laughs> Number two, is to be able to budget. And what I mean is, is when you sit down by yourself, and you can do it yourself. I mean, go on Google, there's budget sheets and stuff like that. Uh, but one of the things I always recommend is look at like your subscriptions. We don't even realize how many subscriptions you have on your phone or your computer. And you, you know, you signed up for that 30 day trial, but all of a sudden now you, you know, you're paying $60 a month or 15 or whatever. Check those things. Sit down with an advisor if you want. They can be able to direct you on those types of things as well. Um, and you want to be able to look at your lifestyle, like Dr. L had mentioned. 
you know, is there somewhere where you can kind of cut back, like maybe not on food, but maybe there's another area that you didn't even notice, you don't even know you're paying for it. There's so many people out there, myself included before, um, that I didn't even know I was paying for something every month and until somebody sat down and budgeted with me. So those are the two areas I would concentrate on right now. And, and honestly, when it comes to increasing your income, there are all kinds of opportunities out there, all kinds. You just have to be able to get in front of the right person and they can introduce you to other people and they'll be able to show you opportunities. And just so you guys know, if you, it is an opportunity that you are interested in, I also have one as well, but I'm looking for the right people and I'm looking for five licensed agents by the end of the month. So don't hesitate oh. to reach out. Very cool. Um, another thing that just came to my mind is the fact that uh, when you have people looking for financial goals, many times there are things like keeping up with the Joneses or what the society puts as values or important things ahead of your own set of values, right? Uh, so you end up chasing after things that uh, even when you achieve it, it doesn't bring you happiness. Uh, and ultimately, that's part of finances to make sure that by the end of it, with all the hard work, you are where you want to be and not on the different mountaintop that you didn't anticipate to be. Or yeah, you didn't... And, and completely unhappy. Right. Exactly. That, that, and that in itself is such a good comment, Dr. L, because we, we sit down and we do a holistic approach and this is what you want. Okay. A lot of advisors, I, I don't know if anybody's ever gone to an advisor and you sign something and you're like, I don't know. I don't even know what I got, you know, I adult, that's what I call it. You want to be able to sit down. And that's the first thing I'm going to sit down and ask you is what are your goals? Where do you want to be at what age? And how do you want your life to look like? And like you said, if you're just like, oh, I want a Mercedes because my neighbor has it. Well, we're going to talk about that a little bit. Like, why do you want that? It's like an onion when you're doing your goals and we sit down and we just unravel that onion and we get to that deeper thing that you really want rather than just keeping up with the Joneses, right. um, which is super important. Goals is the number one thing. And then the other thing I wanna be very clear about is we're there along the way. So I, when somebody gets married, I wanna be able to, you know, you call me and say, hey, so-and-so is getting married. We gotta save up money. We gotta do this, we gotta do that. You know, unfortunately someone passed away. Here we go. Um, I gotta buy a new car. Like we're there for the whole thing, not just sign this paper and never talk to you again. Exactly. Um, now, you already mentioned a couple of things that were really important about the subscriptions and uh, things like that. But uh, what would be something that you would recommend people do right away? Like if they were watching this and after this, they were going to do one, take one action, what would be that? Uh, and also, I want to, this is like, all my questions are still like two parts. I know. <laughs> the other part of this is, how do you teach this stuff? to kids or get kids involved as well, because ultimately we are experiencing this challenge because it was not taught to us. How, how can we teach this to our kids? So that, that's the two parts. Okay, so the first part is, um, I would say that the first action, and I had to think about this because it, it is a two-parted question or even three, but, the first thing I would say is budgeting has got to be the most important. And, and, I, and if you guys are anything like I was, it makes my skin crawl. Budgeting makes my skin crawl. So um, when we sat down and did it with somebody else, yeah, it sucked. It really did. But guess what? Once we did it, I know for us at that time, we looked and, and I, I like to eat out. Okay. I like to eat at restaurants a lot. And at that time, my husband was always like, oh, Tan, like we're spending too much money in that area. And I was like, oh, it's no big deal. But when we budgeted it out and we put it on a piece of paper, holy, mm -hmm. it makes a huge difference because now you're looking at it going, okay, that is a problem, whatever that might be, right? So I would say budgeting. And another area that I would like to talk about real quick is if you have mortgage insurance, so a creditor insurance on your mortgage or your credit lines or your um, line of credits, have a look at how much you're paying because Typically, not all the time, but they don't, some of them don't do underwriting, so they don't know who you are. They just categorize you into one lump sum, right? So 18 year olds to 35 or whatever. They decide after you die or are injured whether they're going to pay out. Again, this isn't all, but a lot of them. Whereas if you have your own individual life policy, 
then you know that you've gone through underwriting and you know that they're typically going to be able to pay out in the long run. That's one thing I would have a, a look at and see how much you're spending in that area. Mm -hmm. um, kids, you know what? It should be taught in schools, period. Uh, if there was a way I could make that happen, I would love to be able to do that. But basically what we do is we, anybody that has like 18, you know, to 25 year olds as kids and I sit down with them and I teach them, I always ask them if we can go ahead and show their kids. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we explain it, we explain it in their terms. So of course, I don't know about you guys, but when I was 18, I wanted a hot, cool car. That was like, that's it. And I wanted to go party, right? And hang out with my friends and nothing else mattered. Thank God my dad had taught me that, you know, you should put money away. That's what I do now is I sit down and, and, and talk to them like, not their mom and dad, but it's a third party. So they tend to listen a little bit better too. Right. Um, and we show them the steps of how important it is actually to put that money away, but yet still go party and get that car or whatever. So that's what we do. We spend a lot of time with the uh, 18 to 20 year olds, to be honest with you, if they're open minded enough to sit down, that's the age that I'd like to educate more and more and more every day. Yeah, that, that is super important. And I think it just changes humanity's trajectory. If, if the kids would start off their young adult lives the right way and not become a slave to the system, basically, in the process. Well, and, and, and with that, there's ways that when you're younger, you can have, you, you know, you can get an insurance policy with investments inside. Like there's things like that that you can do so that when that kid, or not kid, that when that man or woman is, you know, 40 or 42 like myself, they've already got, you know, they're set and it didn't cost them an arm and a leg like to insure, you know, myself is way more than a, a 20 year old, right? right? Right. So there's yeah. huge advantages to right. getting them started young. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you. So I know this is a big field and 15 minutes just doesn't cut it. So how can people reach out to you, connect with you, uh, get some extra support? Sure. Absolutely. Uh, you can email me at Tanya at Tanya Miller, M-I-L-L-A-R dot C-A. Or you can call my cell phone anytime, 587-850-5832. Uh, and uh, I also put my calendar in where Dr. L will put uh, in the chat as well. Okay. Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. So guys, uh, as I've mentioned before, making connections, making sure you don't do everything and do all the heavy lifting by yourself is important, not only for your own well-being, but also to role model the behavior for the kids so they don't feel like they're alone, that there's no support for them. So you have to show that. So I'm gonna put the details in the description box. Make sure you go ahead and check that out. Connect with Tanya. Uh, make sure that you go ahead and reach out, become part of communities that are available to you. For instance, if you haven't already done so, click subscribe, become part of this community so you get notification of the latest experts that come here, share their gifts, share their expertise with you. Uh, and then in the process, actually role model this for, for the kids as well. So they understand that, you know, there's always support. There's always a community. Humans are social animals. And as a result, we thrive when there is other human beings available for support and for reaching out. Um, and Tanya, once again, I really appreciate you being here talking about this important topic. I've been in this field, this online field for years now. And it's very difficult to come to an expert, somebody that's knowledgeable, that's not interested in just selling you a product. And I really appreciate your integrity and what you do. So I definitely encourage our audience members to reach out to you for connections, for references, for support, and go from there. And thank, thank you. you for your time here. I thank you so much. It. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Bye.